All right, Guyth and Dexter, thank you guys so much for joining us this afternoon. Oh, we heard them warming up a little bit earlier, so tell us what's in store for Monday. Uh, not what you just heard. <laughs> it was very <laughs> operatic. I just want to give you guys a little tease. These guys have some surprises. Yeah, uh, hopefully it's better than what you just heard. We just woke up. We had a late night last it night. It sounded oh, pretty good to me. Yeah. Um, but in store for Monday, it's going to be it's going to be a fun show. I mean, we, we got the Beatles. I mean, we're doing a Beatles tribute. Uh, and I couldn't be more excited to get on stage with this guy. He's, he's freaking so yeah, talented. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's yeah. going to be super, super uh, entertaining for sure. Well, I saw you post a story that you were at the studio till one in the morning laying yeah, some tracks. Yeah, oh my God, yeah. So last night was crazy. Um, you know, everybody's got to get in and record their tracks and things like that. And uh, I drew the short stick to, uh, to get in <laughs> the studio. You got the late shift. Yeah, at 1 a.m. And I'm like, oh my God. And then, you know, you go in, you get pumped, you sing your song. And my body went into overdrive, and I get back to the hotel, and I just- You can't go to sleep. You can't, yeah, you can't, no I, can't way. Go, I couldn't go to sleep, man. <laughs> I was literally laying there staring at the ceiling last night. Yeah. So. But you're feeling okay today. I feel great today. And Dexter, you seem pretty stoked about the wardrobe fitting. Uh, some new boots in store oh we saw? Oh my gosh, yes. We uh, we got some new boots from uh, Vicienda and the crowd. Yeah. You're wearing you like them now? Them? Yeah. No, we're, we're wearing the crowd <laughs> boots today, but yeah, the, just, man, that's, they're awesome, awesome boots. Um, and we, me and uh, me and Rod was in the back back there and uh, doing some video shooting. We took over the wardrobe. It was it was pretty cool. Nice. Well, we're excited to see you guys hit the stage. So Team Blake uh, seems to be having a statistical advantage right now. You guys got five in the top eight. So it seems like it's you know kind of a done deal with more than half. But do you guys feel like maybe there's some pros and cons to the situation? What are you doing to make sure that you stand out individually? Being, I mean, two of four country or country adjacent male singers on this team. Yeah, you know, it's definitely nerve-wracking to go into um, gearing up to the, for the finale with so many people on your team, you know, because four of us have to go home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's tough. But I think uh, the way I'm preparing for it is just to be different and, and try and stand out in the best way that I can. You know, everybody on the competition uh, is so incredibly talented. Shoot, I never thought I was going to get this far yeah. in the beginning. Me you know, either. there was there was so many talented people in the beginning, and now to be the top uh, eight out of what was it, forty thousands? Yeah, to start with, thousands, literally. thousands, thousands yeah. to start with. Um, yeah, so just just being different um, in in our own unique way, but still being true to yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in my performance coming up this week, um, it, I couldn't be more true to myself with this performance. This is this is a hundred percent me. So. What about you, Jackson? Oh uh, well, I'm just uh, this week. It's going to be a little bit different. I'm changing, uh, changing up, trying to stand out. You know, because we do have a lot of country singers, and and uh, I'm actually doing something way totally out of the box. You know, it's going to be really, uh, it's going to be interesting. But I'm I'm very excited uh, to to perform this song on the on the on the stage and stuff, and and uh, it's going to give another taste to let America see. You know what I can do. It's gonna be good. At, at this point, it's we're the stakes are really high. We're getting late into the competition. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about stepping outside of your comfort zone as opposed to doing something that you know for sure is gonna work? Well, I've done I've done this song that I'm doing at my shows a lot, and it's so it's a, new it's, to viewers, not necessarily. Yeah, new yeah, to yeah, you. yeah. It. It's very it's new to viewers. It, people are gonna be like, what in the world? You know, this is a totally different side you've never seen. And I hope it like I want to stand out from. I don't when you go in and you play a venue or something like that. You don't want to be uh, a person that sings karaoke. You mm -hmm. want to. You want people. Like, oh man, that's Dexter Roberts. That's Guy Rigdon. You know. That, that you want to stand out, and that's. I think that's what this performance this week is going to do. All right. Who do you guys think is your biggest competition going into this top eight? Um. Man. Wow. I yeah, mean, everyone stands out, but there's got to be is. someone where you're like, I see you. You know, I think from day one, <laughs> from day one, before we was ever aired on TV, nobody wanted to battle Rod. Right. Ah. <laughs> And and who drew the short stick right <laughs> off the bat? This guy right well, here. Well, you got that out of the way and at least. I, you know, I was fortunate enough to uh, come out on top in the battle rounds, uh, but I am so glad. But we he didn't, didn't have go to anywhere. Do. Yeah, they kept loves him around. Woman. I'm so glad we didn't have to battle on that song. <laughs> I'd have been in a bind. Um, you know, I think vocally wise, I think Rod is um, is definitely a factor. Big force to be reckoned with. Big yeah, time. definitely. Uh, you know. If we're if we're comparing our sort of genres together, mm -hmm. um, you know, you have Maylin and Sean and people like that who do different genres and they're great at what they do. Um, but I think if if we're trying to fit one country person or soul singer mm -hmm. into the finale, it gets a bottleneck. Yeah, it gets yeah. a little bottleneck, and some of us are gonna have to go. So um, 
Yeah, that, that's kind of nerve-wracking. Yeah. I think Rod is, is yeah, my choice. my choice, too. Yeah, because he's, he was my roommate, and I got to hear yeah. him every every morning. He'd be getting up, singing, and everything. I'm like, man, come on now. He got Laura on his side, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> for sure. What do you guys think about some of the criticism this season, that because of the cross battles and things have seemed a little more cutthroat, that too many talented artists went home too soon or too all at once? I mean, is that just the name of the game at this point? There's only one winner at the end of the day. Yeah, you know, it is a competition at the end of the day. Everybody who has went home cannot go home and say that they didn't make it. You know, out of thousands of people mm -hmm. who tried out for the show, exactly. they made the show. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it is a little depressing to see those people go home. But, you know, it is it is the name of the game. It's it's a competition. Um, it, it's, it's a TV show. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, yeah, the cross battles. We thought the cross battles were exciting whenever we first got the news. Everyone looked like yeah, they were, yeah. like there was so much team spirit going on yeah, during it that was. time. It was nerve-wracking, yeah, though. Yeah, it was because we all thought that he was going to go against Rod again. Oh we, all, we all tweeted about it. I was so nervous. nervous. <laughs> they, had it, they had it trending, you know, Rod versus Guy yeah, 2, and yeah, I was yeah. like, no, 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 we're yeah, going to do the Dex. sequel, part yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah part the two. Sequel. <laughs> the sequel's never as good. <laughs> what do you think viewers are expecting from you? Do they want to see you try something new, or are they, like, bring us the hits, like what we want to vote for? I don't really know. You know, it's um, – it's, it's, our coach, you know, he wants us to be, you know, true to ourselves, mm -hmm. and he wants us, to, you know, every time we go in there, he's like our best friend, you know, he wants us to do whatever. And when I went in there um, um, right after the show, because we went straight in after the show Tuesday yeah. and went into rehearsal. And, um, I, no break. Yeah, no break, no breaks. <laughs> he went right in. I didn't go in until 1 a.m. Yeah, okay. he got that <laughs> short stick. Just a reminder, stick, just a reminder on that. Short, short stick. stick again. <laughs> yeah. But he just wants, you know, our coach wants us to, you know, be true to ourselves and, and, and do whatever we think, you know, is best. You know, he told me when I when I picked um, Brooks and Dunn, uh, I did Brooks and Dunn Believe. And he was mm -hmm. like, man, you know, I, I love this song choice that you picked. And he was like, you know, I'm just going to let you pick the rest. You know, you pick the song. Yeah. And you know, and I think you know America. You know, they're you know they're voting us through. You yeah, know, they're you're it's excited. Worked, it's worked so far. Yeah, the song that I originally had in mind for this week wasn't able to happen, um, unfortunately. But my second song, um, you know, it was it, 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 there wasn't a first or second. You know, yeah. it was just whichever one was able to work. And and I'm so glad the one that was able to work is is happening uh, because it's. It's not me really stepping out of the box, but it's me showing um, what you can expect to see from Guy Thrigdon. Uh This is something that I've um, kept near and dear to my heart for a very long time. And uh, I think this is gonna be one of the most... Um, uh, um, it sounds emotional. It's very emotional. You know, it's, it's going to be one of the most emotional performances yeah. that, that I've, I've done on the show so far. Well, we can't wait to see both of you guys at yeah, the yeah. stage on Monday. Before we let you go, Carter hilariously said that he had to turn off his social media notifications because he kept getting all these promposals. Uh, <laughs> any DMs that, of note that you guys have gotten from fans? Yeah, you know, we all, you know, we've, it's, it's <laughs> mind-blowing. And, um, you know, the fan support and... and all the love everybody showed us, but yeah, we've. I've, I think the DMs is blew up a lot. <laughs> you guys are still uh, doing the notifications. You're still keeping track. I'm still trying to keep track. I <laughs> got, I got notifications that that come in, and uh, I'm trying to keep track with as many of them. You know, the DMs are coming in, and the, the. Um, you know, I told them like, look, I can't reply to all the DMs. It's exactly. easier if you just it's, hashtag, it's yeah. hashtag Guyth Nation on whatever, and I try and go in and I try and like like all of them, just to show that, you know, like I said, as much support as they show us, mm -hmm. we will never be able to return that exactly. favor. You know, it's 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 so overwhelming, and, and we try to do the best we can with yeah. replying and liking and, and commenting back and just so much, you know. Well, don't be afraid to chime in. They're watching. They're yeah. still watching. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we so are guys, definitely seeing it. Give these guys a social media shout-out. We'll see yeah. you guys on Monday. Can't wait. Thank uh, you so good much. Good thank luck. Okay, break, so a much. Yeah. break a leg. Break a leg. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it.